Well, hey there. We're Jay. And C. And we're at Nathan Phillips Square. Cue the intro. <laughs> Yeah, Cheryl? Do you know who this square is named after? No, please do tell. <laughs> a Toronto mayor. He was mayor from 1955 to 1962. Mm. And his name? Nathan Phillips. Holy crap, that's genius. So Nathan Phillips Square was designed by Finnish architect Viljo Revelle. He won a worldwide competition for his design and it was finished in 1965. Ravel wanted something spectacular to decorate his square. What he had in mind was a sculpture by Henry Moore. This sculpture, The Archer, caused quite a stir because it was gonna be $100,000, which in today's dollars is 800 grand. The city council said no, so they went to the private sector who did fund it finally, and here it is today. Most expensive sculpture sold by Henry Moore to date is 33 million bucks. That's a lot. I think we have two seasons in Toronto, freezing cold and sweltering hot. I think that's because of climate change. Hey John. So it's hard to believe that this area used to be called uh, the ward and it was sort of the slummy area of Toronto and they just got rid of it all. Now we're standing in what would have been the first uh, Chinatown. Yep. It was expropriated and then raised to the ground. The big word. This is 12 acres too, did you know? Wow, know. that would probably make it Canada's largest square if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> you know all the facts. <laughs> Just the facts, man. So, um, we're sitting in the Peace Garden right now. It's really peaceful. It actually really is, and I think there's a lot of people who don't like that we're talking right now because they look like they're reading and sleeping. This Peace Garden was created as a memorial to the uh, bombing of Hiroshima, and it was installed in 1969. It's been around for a while, and we didn't even know it existed till today. Today. <laughs> Here we have the Podium Gardens. The Podium Gardens is part of a revitalization project for Nathan Phillips Square. If you're looking for a good photo op and you have a wide angle lens, the backside of City Hall is pretty spectacular. Okay, John. What? Enough with your boring history. Uh, I love history though. <laughs> I know. I want to talk about fun stuff now though. Fun stuff like what? Like all the fun things you can do at Nathan Phillips Square. There's festivals. Concerts. Protests. Art shows. <laughs> NBA championships. Instagram stuff. Oh, the Toronto sign. Forget about that. So every year at Nuit Blanche, which happens on the last day of September, first day of October, Nathan Phillips Square is used for art installations. Two of the coolest that we've ever seen was ever. Director X, The Death of the Sun. Absolutely amazing. And the other, Cheryl? 2015, Floria Sigmund Sondi. Do you remember what the name of that was? Numa. 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 Pneumonia. Pneumonia. And when Canada turned 150, there were four days of concerts here. Oh yeah, who did we catch, Cheryl? Bare Naked Ladies. Yes. And then I forget who that last day was because Drake showed up. Oh, hold on, we that, we that, we that, we that, we that. Okay, so Drake showed up. I am in utter shock right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing like going to a free show at Nathan Phillips Square and Drake shows up and gives a bit of a mini concert and professes his love for Toronto. Aww. A couple other shows that we've seen here recently, well, the last few years is The Stars. Yeah, that was part of Pan Am's concert series. And uh, the Dream Warriors. Talking all that jazz. Now what's my definition? My 
Okay, so the world famous Toronto sign here is the centerpiece of Nathan Phillips Square. Um, it is seriously Instagrammable. There's usually lineups of people trying to get their photo taken with it. Yeah. There have been a couple of additions to the Toronto sign since it's been installed in 2015. On uh, one side, you've got maple leaf, and on the other side here, you've got the medicine wheel for the indigenous culture. No matter what the weather, you will always find food trucks lined up along Queen Street, right in front of Nathan Phillips Square. And not your fancy schmancy food truck. Normally just offering things like hot dogs, burgers, poutine with real cheese curds. And of course, you can't forget about the old school ice cream trucks. Get your soft serve on. John likes the soft serve. Who doesn't like soft serve? I don't like soft serve. You're nuts. <laughs> So the reflecting pool down there, it doubles as a skating rink in the winter where Shell and I have had so much fun. Skating around and shenanigans and... Falling on our arses. Yeah, freezing our butts off. During the winter months, they always have special things going on here as well, like the cavalcade of lights to kick off the Christmas decorations and also New Year's celebrations. Both include... Fireworks! <laughs> You probably recognize Nathan Phillips Square from all kinds of film and television productions. Most notably, Resident Evil Apocalypse. And also, The Handmaid's Tale. Oh yeah, what an awesome show. You see Toronto in almost every single episode. There's also Star Trek The Next Generation, where they show in the holodeck a futuristic city, and it's Nathan Phillips Square, really? City Hall. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to be invited down the night they shot some of the stunt scenes for a Resident Evil Apocalypse by a good friend, Pierre, assistant director on, uh, on it. So we got to see uh, one of the stunt people run all the way down um, City Hall. I couldn't find footage of that, but I did get footage of City Hall blowing up good. So you just gave a shout out to our friend Pierre. Right? Yeah, of course. I think we should also give a shout out to James, one of our followers. Oh yeah, James, you really wanted us to give you a shout out, so here from... Cheers. John, and especially Cheryl. <laughs> hey James. And did you know that there are 1.5 million annual visitors to Nathan Phillips Square? That will be more like 3.5 this year after the NBA Championship. That's right! <laughs> Breaking all records. Go Raptors! Bye Kawhi! Bye Kawhi! Later, dude. Thanks for the memories. Thanks. Sour grapes over here. You're sour I grapes. I know I'm sour grapes. <laughs> Thanks, nobody. Appreciate it. I love Nathan Phillips Square.